Hey Eggheads, Juan Carlos Bagnell here in New Egg Studios. We've got a fun one for you today. We're working on a new build and we want to show it off. So from the launch of NVIDIA's RTX cards to today, ray tracing is starting to come into its own. We've seen it in great effect on a game like Control, really contributing to the look and feel of that game. So we're working on this system right here. We just put together a 9900 KS, popped that into an Asus Prime Pro motherboard, paired it with an Asus 2080 Super, and we really want to break this rig in. So we thought, what better way to show off the capabilities of a monster machine like this than to jump into some Quake 2? Yeah? Am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! The fun thing about Quake 2 RTX, it's not like our Minecraft video where that was kind of a fan port, those pieces were sort of stapled together. This is an official NVIDIA licensed supported product. And it's just a fun trip down memory lane for me because I was in high school when Quake 2 came out. And it makes me feel real old. All joking aside, I'm really excited about this. Seeing what kind of new technologies can help breathe new life into some classic gaming experiences. but. It's enough rambling for me. It, I mean, it's running on this machine right now, so let, let's just play a game. I've been playing around with this uh, at home for a while now, but I wanted to stop right here just to show off this environment. This is something we totally take for granted in modern titles. Like, you know, there's a slight blooming effect when you're looking from sunlight to shadows. Look at those pretty reflections in the water. And you're like, okay, yeah, cool. All games pretty much do stuff like this now. I definitely want to go in to the graphics options because uh, when I was a kid, when I was a, in high school, this is what passed for the most amazing graphics and technology in gaming. The, the totally static image for the sky, this sort of modeled pattern for toxic looking water. Um, this blew my mind in 1997. Uh, not, not so hot today, but you can see like Quake was already starting to work with some kind of like loose lighting and particle effects and stuff. But what we can do now, considering what Nvidia had to work with, just so much prettier. You just see those those lighting effects now, and how even the uh, the reflections in the water kind of play. And of course, the uh, the character model that you work with from those Quake multiplayer days has absolutely no relation to gravity, but you can at least see that in the uh, in the reflections in glass now. It, it's it's hilarious how refreshing this was. I, I fired it up at home just on a whim, like, oh yeah, I've got an RTX card, it'll be kind of silly if, if I play it for a bit. And uh, found myself going through a, a good chunk of Quake 2, playing it a lot longer than I thought I was going to. So this, it's it's seeing this type of... Oh, I've got my machine gun up, let me just kill that guy. All right. And let's go back to my little, my handy little blaster here. I'm totally in shadow. You can see just how the gun is getting illuminated. There's even a little bit of a reflection on the gun itself that's so pretty. And then how it tracks. Ah, that's so cool. Let's just go back to 1997 technology here for a second. I gotta see this. Not as good. <laughs> Not as good. Let's find some things to kill. Definitely kill that guy. Oh, these guys. These guys all need to get shot. Uh, it's also just kind of interesting how these types of games have evolved. You kind of take a certain uh, run and gun Twitch style gameplay for granted. I just love pointing out the pretty little shadows as they fall on the walls and just the glow of the lighting. I, again, another trip back in time. Wow, not as good. <laughs> Nvidia. This is such a labor of love to showcase what this technology is capable of. Now, fun fact, it's, it's actually, it was brought to my attention. It's not actually true ray tracing, but some type of path tracing. A slightly different, but still similar style lighting information being coded into the game. And however NVIDIA is applying their magic sauce to, to this game, it's appreciated. Yeah. Quake is kind of one of those where you go back to play it and it's not really quite what you remembered it. But if we could apply some, some fancy new graphics and some new lighting technology and we can improve 
what this game was capable of, I'm sure there's a list of old classic games that could be uh, refreshed today if uh, you had yourself a fancy RTX card. NVIDIA with some RTX goodness showing us we can go home again. That's just another fun trip down memory lane for me, but it really got me thinking. And this is where I want to throw a question out to you fine folks, uh, the viewers out there here on the YouTubes. What other classic games would you like to see with a fresh coat of paint, a little RTX goodness? I, I was very surprised at how captivating the experience was just improving the lighting effects and, and adding a few other things too, like transparencies and reflections and stuff like that. It's never gonna make Quake feel totally brand new or competitive against a modern title, but it's this interesting halfway point between you know just re-releasing a game and then doing a full remaster of a game like Resident Evil 2. So drop us some comments down below. What classic games would you most wanna see get the RTX treatment? And uh, you know, as soon as we wrap up this video, I'm gonna go back to just getting my butt handed to me in some Quake 2. For Newegg Studios, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video.